Uh, hello. Uh, I'd like to talk about some uh, work that we've been doing trying to add security analyses to the Clang Static Analyzer, in particular detecting what we call critical control flow. Now, uh, what is it that I mean by that? Uh, security software usually contains sets of variables that have information that you really don't want the outside world to know about. And in particular, these days, um, uh, side channel attacks are uh, increasingly being used to try and find these things. Uh, what we want to do is use the compiler, as it can see your entire program, to find ways that you are accidentally making it easier to leak this information. Um, so, as, an ex as a simple example, if I have my secret here and I've put an attribute on it to say that this thing is important, I really don't want to uh, leak this information. Well, you can see in this simple example, well, I have a branch here that is based on the value of that. So, if you can see the execution flow of my program, you might be able to infer some information about my variable. And we really want this to uh, not happen. Uh, that's a simple example. We might be able to add a simple compiler warning for that. Uh, but we want to be able to do more detailed things. Uh, so, for example, if we have variables that themselves aren't annotated, but ha um, have their values derived from something that has this annotation, we also want to warn about this. So, in this case, my variable other it becomes critical here, and then there's a branch here. So, we want to warn about this as well. Uh, now, this is possibly reaching the limits of what we can easily do with some compiler warnings. Um, but we want to cover this case and more. Take a much more complex example, where I have a variable with this annotation, but and then I pass it to another function. Now, in this case, uh, if, if I pass my secret variable into this function, um, actually, um, the return value of this function is uh, should have this annotation uh, dependent on whether the uh, variable z is true or not. So in this case, it, it, uh, this branch may be uh, may introduce a problem depending on this external variable. Now this is where um, we want to use static analysis to determine this. Um, I won't go too much into detail as to what the static analysis tool does because there have been several talks about it today, uh, but. A thing where so we so it, uh, basically the tool goes through a series of uh, runs a series of checkers to determine if there are any problems in your code and if so uh, creates bug reports um, and we want to extend this uh, we've looked at two approaches of doing this the first one is to extend the uh, built-in taint analysis uh, check uh, the built-in taint checker that's in the um, static analysis tool now this does things like checks that uh, user input isn't directly tied to uh, sys cores or the size arguments of C string functions, et cetera. And in many ways, uh, we're doing something similar, except whereas with this the normal taint, we care, we care about the value of um, things for uh, creating bugs. We care purely about the type of a variable. So we've looked down this route, and we have also looked down a similar route where we create something entirely custom. Uh, what we do is for every um, variable in a program, we track whether this variable has been marked as critical or has uh, had its criticality cast away um, by a user. And whenever something is assigned, uh, we look at the expression on the right-hand side of the assignment to, to search for any reason why we should pass on this uh, analysis. Thank you. Um, and uh, we do the same thing on branch expressions. And if the if we find a reason at the branch uh, the branch statement, uh, then we raise a bug. Uh, this is still a work in progress, in particular with trying to work through some uh, issues around how we're doing function calls. Uh, we have a poster later, so if you have any questions, talk to me or uh, my colleague Ed at the back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.